try I, i'll do a full explanation for youtube viewers this is uh this is a day after the actual result so i'm not watching it live this is vod review fanatic on defense loud on attack and i think boast is going to get the first kill um, penny thank you so much penny 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 with the nine months chat you know what to do let's get a lot of congrats in there as well for the third place thank you so much penny appreciate the nine months she did great yesterday and ritz vibing as well ritz vibing with the three months thank you so much straight into mid carved open Slightly, yeah, yeah again, with the with the boaster Leo thing over towards middle, it was um like bo Boaster's decision is good. It's just that Leo wasn't on the same page. So they've always got to pump the brakes a little and wait for that to happen. It's going wide. Still got a dash though. Durka wants another go at things. Can't quite land them though. Wait, how the hell did Les get that kill though? Yeah, Les got such an important kill though. waiting for him. Yeah, I mean, they just sent the spike to a Damn, this is nice. Yeah, okay, fast box. pistol going over towards loud. We'll keep an eye on that one as well. Yeah, they took so much. Dude, Aspas always does this. But honestly, they don't have the guns to spam, so I don't care that much. Mate, Les is hitting some shots already. Just spotted. Fortunate for was in with the timing. You don't want to be taking dry fights against Alpha yet. He's just been unbelievable in this tournament and at Tokyo. So Les is currently wrapping people up on the other side of things. Yeah, and they're getting no damage done. Look very drilled at the moment. Certainly a matchup to be waiting for. The desk was also highlighting that, you know, the Les versus Alpha argument. Okay, well, there's a little bit of damage. And I guess this won't be a uh, white bar. And I guess this... Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, I mean, they have some pre-planned stuff, and it looks like, dude, Loud are changing up a lot of their tendencies of how they like to play, and it kind of works out well. That's pretty impressive. That's a big joke. Dude, what? Okay, yeah, they are not on the same page over towards middle here. Dude, they got, um... I think they got very blindsided by their anti on this round. I'm not entirely sure that's right. They just didn't expect this. Damn, they're dominating them. It's the same thing where they just don't even have to push him. Damn, what a good bonus. Yeah, it's such a good start. Okay, so we get a little bit of a snowball-y start. We're watching the, the rest of the games. Damn, they do a weird... Do you know what? Do you know what's so weird about this? I've never seen Fnatic in this spot because I've, I don't think I've... I can't remember the last time I saw them go 3-0 down. I, don't, I, I can't remember watching this team go 3-0 down. I've never seen them do this this Guardian buy before. This just doesn't happen. Like EG and Fnatic are normally the best team at snowballing. I love how loud they're playing. It's it's a lot of mid at the moment in the important rounds, and then just very simple in the ecos. The game's starting like four hours, so we should easily have enough time. Might even have a break to eat afterwards. Dude, I mean, Alpha's Alpha's at least doing damage. Alpha's fragging out, but a lot of them don't mean anything other than just damage control, which I guess still means something, but it's like no actual impact. So they had an anti-KO for this one. So that, yeah, nice anti-KO setup for this, but again, this is looking good. Dude, they get dominated in middle the whole time. Les has been a monster. The amount of important kills he's been getting is crazy. Uh, I kind of, I kind of enjoying how loud are playing. The A is getting, the A in middle is getting exposed a little bit. Oh, that's unlucky. Killjoy comes in for the retake. Three people here. I mean, this is it. Where's some smoke at? Someone's got to push, though. Wait, someone's got to push. Sure. I mean, they did pretty good to, to hold this. The recon was everything, so it was really nice from Leo. 
Oh, the knife for A main. So yeah, they, they have a, they have a, because this is what Loud normally do. See the knife that I was talking about? This is what Loud normally do. When they do this knife here, then they go and try to fight. But they're kind of just tanking the knight, for the knife at the beginning. Nice kill. I mean, Dark is getting a lot of opening kills at the moment. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, this is this is originally what they planned for the first big buy rounds, just a heavy uh, heavy punish over towards A main. I think that's great. Again, with this knife that goes in here, a lot of the time it's worth getting hit by it because you want to fake that you're over towards um, wine anyway. They got the recon out of them as well. Honestly, there is a lot of potential for Loud in this one at the moment. Two people here. I'm interested to see the setup between these two. Dude, he has everything. Kronika has all util for here. Kauzin has his all. Holy. Avoiding it. Avida res inside. Still, the coverage is there. And time is really running short. There's only 20 seconds left into this one. Full containment. It's the name of the game here for Fnatic. Oh, they can't. Still alive, rounds. making sure that they don't leave any pieces. Ten seconds. Out wide. Here's the old, but they don't have the spike. Just yet, need to get themselves into the side, Kawazin. They don't win this round though, right? Cover two years covering the cross still. It's up to just Kawazin. Gets a player down. Does not win okay. that fight. So, good stuff from Fnatic. Nicely done. Bursa was definitely tempted to use his ult into here, but I don't think he realized. They knew where one player was, but they didn't know where two of them was, so I don't think he wanted to risk just using his ult for something that might get cancelled. Everyone's money's ridiculously good because people have been saving, and when they win rounds, they win with like multiple people alive. Mate, Durka's opping a lot. Mate, he's getting a lot of first kills. <laughs> that is the tiniest, tiniest Oi, little show grab. Off. Felt like he spotted just the, the leg of Sadak actually and just took the shot anyway, but Asmas falls. The player with the nine. This is where they've been getting wrecked, if I'm fully honest. Like Asmas middle it has, has not inspired. been strong. This is a three person set up though. One of the best that we can take a shot or two. I love Look at this, clearance. okay. Well, just as I started criticizing their middle, like it this. looks like perfect. They are opening themselves up to reclear strategies. That's a nice recon dart that finds value. Oh, it's actually a big Durkin. miss. This one's a little bit doable. Is a in this yeah, round. this is doable. Oh, I like this. They give them no time to plant. They don't want this to be risky. They have numbers here early. Damn. They get a little bit unlucky with some of this. What the hell is that one that I'm seeing Fofs do? Bro, how many... This is four opening kills at the moment. One was a KO, so I guess it doesn't count in the stats, but... Dude, he's everywhere. Gaining the side as well, over towards heaven. I mean, it's Alpha who really shuts this one down. Two years, you really want to keep going for this? Spam onto the corner, the coverage. That was nice by these two. Oh, that was so nice. They go super aggro and they're just not really expecting such like a well drilled. It's probably, it's probably the most coordinated thing I've seen over towards heaven in terms of a push. It's magnificent. Dude, this is kind of nice at the moment. Like, every, both, all teams are, like both the teams are playing really good. Yeah, Leo did great. Again, Duck is just getting so many opening kills. I mean, he just didn't see him on the first jump peak. Dude, is it, this is the fifth opening kill for Durka. Only four on the stats in terms of the KO. Ooh, wild. What the hell is that omen flash? He's trying to hit giants. Plenty more left to do. Durka running him down. He's hunting. Damage definitely done. And there's still. Wow, that, that was actually pretty bad from Durka. Just using Sadak as a piece of bait. Look at him running away all the yeah, way. Yeah, he tunnel vision. Wow, hard there. Dude, look at their HPs. Oh my god, the cleanup is so on. Still taking control of the entirety of this round. Three so far. They hit some shots. Surely enough damage is done. Leo is left to do it. What can he find? Spike ticking away. Damn, Cowan's in at the moment's had like a lot of impact. I don't think he has the most kills, but my god, the impact's crazy at the moment from his. Oh, you can see the uh see the thing from the dash. Bro. Six. Six but five altogether. Wait, do they I mean they're heavily it feels like they're heavily dominating on fast kills. This is a round that is looking pretty much sealed up. 
pick with a few players, even to make the round winnable. This is the first time watching this game, yeah. Again, I, I know the overall result, result, but I don't know the score results. Dude, I feel like all the darkest kills are fun. Dude, how many? We're on seven, chat. Seven, but six in terms of the KO. This is crazy dominant in terms of... Uh, oh, dude, he got a double as well. He's unlucky not to get two. Angles are going to be watched for. You're going to try and get themselves into this one. Dodging. Duke King. Uh oh. Oh, Sadak's gone down. A friendly fire. Dropped to his knees. That's a spike out in the open, and it needs to be. But that's okay. Really I mean, he's a reservoir. <laughs> Any sort of go of this. 50 seconds here. Positioning. Gained once more by Chronicle. I mean, he's repositioned towards the back of the side. I don't think Loud are going to be aware of this. No, I don't think so. Chronicle might have made the play here to win the round. Fate and switch oh. still. Angels one out, but yeah, there's Chronicle. Finally. Yeah, I mean, Chronicles ought to have been great at the moment. Alpha's got his ult. So now what? You can just go ult really early. Oh, that's nice, bro. He got it from the plant. Oh my god. Dude, I, I wasn't even on top of the fact that he gets this with the plant. The way they won this round, by the way. Oh my god, they actually snatched this away. Maybe if they were more aware that if Les was going to get his ult, they might have used his ult earlier. When, um. Yeah. Honestly, maybe some of this could have been better. Dude, that had a pretty. pretty <laughs> Did he die? Oh, he died on purpose because he was 5 HP to reheal. Oh my god, that's so good. We'll get it Sova with a frenzy. Dude, look how much damage they tanked during all of this. They, they, they haven't even got up towards sight and they've tanked so much damage. Dirk is on his own. Oh my goodness, this was a... This was a weird hit because... They couldn't go out originally because of the KO nade, and the KO nade was great, but then everyone didn't fully go in. And they kind of had a good, they kind of had a, they were fine, to be honest. I feel like more of the team should have committed here, because the recon went in to find information, and they double push over towards middle, Aspas comes in. I mean, yeah, this is good. A little bit disjointed in terms of Fnatic, both of their pistols, to be honest, middle here, middle here. Bro, they're so ready for someone flanking behind, getting aggro over towards middle, especially after the pistol. Fight being taken still those that main control beautiful smoke to try and cross into this one for Loudy here two years Wait, this is it they honestly do pretty good in this retake like it's it's well it's well um fought out they didn't have any jet smoke so they smoke in the middle to dash through maybe less needed to commit more i didn't really see i don't know if he like i would need to watch it again i'm not going to but. Wait, they know the setups fully that if they put the alarm bot here, he's back. Oh, they did some research though. No turret, and he knows that they're far back. Damn, they did some individual, individual entry. I mean, they had two days. Bro, how did he get that? Yeah, Les is a god. He's gonna get one. Oh, that's my bad. Well, at least we still got the curse, even though it's a VOD. Yeah, he still thinks it's A main, because the plant kind of came in after the util was used. So he has... Holy, this was close. Leo saved them in this. I mean, Les did great as well. Okay, this was such a big round for them to win. Okay, another big buy round. Fnatic have so much money. Darker gets back up Judge as well. Less as his ult. Oh dear god. Mate, less is outrageous, chat. <laughs> <laughs> like how many how many okay these two by the way are doing ridiculous impact but there was nobody to try and help Durka was taking that space like ridiculous being funneled towards the distraction in B main yeah I love this from loud three people jumping over towards the side as well they got a backup here and maybe maybe Fnatic should have called a council here 
down. Shut down in the end. Pop flash around the corner. Has to be respect being shown. Battling through. Shut down to the corner. These angles are impeccable by Fnatic. Covers in dropping down though. Still with the Odin. Anticipating the re-peak. Plenty of bullets. Yeah. And then get hold as Leo hit Holy it. hell. It's a big round. It's less though. I mean, what a huge play going towards main. They haven't seen him for a while though. So maybe Leo considers it. He moves to underpass. Yeah, it is a smart move from him. Damn, bro. Leo is nearly on top of this. That mate, less it though. Like, Les is outrageous. He's been so good. By far the best player at the moment on the server in terms of events. Rip to the corner here, just gonna spam wildly into the smoke and pray for a kill as well. It could be on Two either side, either direction. Two Damn, bro, Dirk gets that. What's their money like? Oh my god, money's really low. Less again gets the most important kill. And Kalenzin gets one on top of it. Does Less now just all? Maybe he wants Plant to come in, to be honest. Oh, for all? Yeah. Oh, for all, but they did it nice and early, so they're still going to have time for a retake, and... Oh, they don't have vision block. A lot of this is down to Aspas' smokes, in my mind. Whoa. No one actually just... Change. I mean, it was nicely There's done no from Loud that they, they, they just insta-stuck it with three people, the but they have to they have to be aware that the three people they killed wasn't the person on the defuse. The defuse I think. Seconds, yeah. Bro, they go so late. Oh, God. Oh, God, and they just put the smoke down now, so he's in this for 15 seconds. Oh, they've owned him. And the spikes come in here. And he has a flash after the first kill. Oh, dear God, the spank. Hey, it's good tech as well. You see the crouch tap? Respect. Yeah, man. Again, like, the judge just needs enough. He played it perfect. Double smoke. It, again, it's a little bit risky, but if he was going to double by judge each time, they've owned him. Man, they actually looked into it and bought the judge so much against them. But Bacon, Bacon and, like, Yumpy and everyone would take the mick out of me. And I would always, like, they would always say, like, how would you anti this? And no joke, I would always be like, just do a judge and do this. But honestly, it can be the answer. And, like, in this game, a lot of times, an answer is getting a judge. It just changes it up so drastically. It's literally the same effect as buying an op, right? You know when you buy an op and, and like, 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 literally just this round. You buy an op and you have to be scared at these angles, right? You have to jump peek and stuff like that. As soon as you buy a judge early into a game, you're in a smoke, whatever. They have to be scared of every single smoke. Like, sometimes people are just walking smoke, disrespecting smokes and stuff. You buy a judge early into a game, it's the exact same as an op in terms of... Well, we can't peek this angle because there's an op. Well, there's a smoke up. We need to be careful of this. Maybe we need to use our drone earlier. Watch out. And then everyone just starts worrying about every single close range angle. And with a team that, um, I mean, yeah, with a team that only kind of has one info gatherer, it becomes a nightmare. I'm glad teams are finally catching on. Bro, they play so slow after this as well. Chronicle takes charge of the situation, drop down to his knees. There's no real follow up here. As well to try and get him back up, crossing to the side, but 20 seconds left into it. Into that was a great shot from Alpha to hit this, though. Still need to get themselves into the site. The problem is they won the round so cleanly before that they, their money's just great. Bro, they don't go for this. Oh, man. Dude, they had Sovero and everything here? Bro. They had to go for that. It's a 12th round earned here for Loud reward of just like for working so much but you lot are getting like instant reward after just like a second like your brain's getting rewarded for doing nothing it's like poison don't do it don't do it to your brain i'm telling you well a lot of people are looking towards alpha making his claim for another mvp kind of run yeah i mean this is good the group stage and what he was able to do with tokyo and he's saving them here. What? Again, he saves Bro. Them. Disgusting shot. Almost with a good shot. Uh, uh, he's done enough in this round. Surely. He should have done enough. Surely. Right? Kawazin. Beams them all down here. Recon dart back in three. 28 bullets. There's the dart. Smoke in his face. Makes it difficult to try and chew through. Everybody dodging. Pulls aside here. Nobody being revealed. Nobody lit up. Kawazin really. Does he play this one? Dodge to the side, 16 left in the chamber. Lovely peak by Boaster, so... Damn, okay, nice round from Alpha. This is some of the most... I know he's fragging very heavy, but this is the most, like, impact, big round that he's had, so that's great from him. 
to the back here. Tucked to the corner though. Where's the clearance? Lovely paranoia. Kawazin, yeah. Damn, this was nice. Aspas. Wait, Aspas got two here. I think just updraft updraft over the smoke. Yeah, the dude, that's area. insane that he gets double. That's everything. This is now more than winnable. This could be it to seal the deal for map number one, but still. Alpha's at logs. Tucked into this position. Alpha is going to have to be that difference maker. Dash. Close to the corner, it's cleared out. Oh, Alpha, beautiful shot, Boaster. Is he going to redeem himself here? Two years though. Yeah, it's a big recovery run. Rifles gain and purchase. Paranoia, it's a lovely connection. Cuts away on the sidelines, Leo. Good luck, Boasties. Where are they, Boaster? With so much more to do. This is for the map. Seven bullets dropping down, a tap onto it. Less seeking to try and force the fight out. It's very playing. calmly playing, very nice from him. He's great. He, I mean, he's great in the clutches. There's not a chance I can say your name. Yeah. Oh, man. Jeez, they nearly lined up for this. But this is what I'm saying in terms of them saving the money. Like, bro, they saved enough for them all to have heavy armor. Like, they really were on top of everything on this. Even Again, even the round they won where they didn't win en with enough people so they can do this to make sure they have heavy armor, Odin, heavy armor off. They're giving themselves like the best chance to win it. It's And like they believe heavy in their full buy runs. And Fnatica just sitting in B main getting wrecked by this. I don't know if it's overtime. I don't know what it is. Oh, bro. Yeah, but, but they did just chill in B main for too long here. That one round that they need I actually felt like, um, there's a little bit of, maybe like the, maybe when when I watch Fnatic a lot of times, their like calling is like snappy, like all the time. Maybe this is the first time where it hasn't felt like it's instant snappy. I don't know if Boaster was having like a harder time in this game to others. What a flash. The util on this round was incredible, by the way. It's curtains for map one, loud, fully in control, not a chance in hell, spike in nowhere, man. Yeah, he's yeah, got no time for this. It. Hey, this was, I tell you what, this, this was a good game. This was a good game. There was a lot of close rounds. Right, if you think about this, half of the defuse is, is blocked off. Well, actually, it would be this half, right? So you can't defuse on this, and you can only have to defuse here. That's so strong. Bro, this kid's, un this kid's unbelievable in this match so far, by the way. Every single round, I feel like he gets the most important kill. Most important kills. Yeah, and this spam is so good. This is a very nice round from Loud. Oh, man, they kind of prepped heavy for this one. I like this. Yeah, go over towards A. Make sure they get the plant against the wall. This is so nice. 3-0 and o of pistols. Okay, big buy rounds at least for Fnatic. Bro, really? Four se do we do the... We do the... Um... Here we go. Is that? Oh Jesus! A chance to try and fight over it. Spamming into the corner. No amount of nerdy lineups will save you from this one. It's a deficit. Of two That's now. devastating. They just swing this heavy. Oh my God, dude. Kanzin has 5,000. He did like the um, he did the full the full bonus. This is like what um, this is like what the China meta is. This is kind of interesting. The China meta is um, China meta is like win the pistol, have a have your anti eco, and then you kind of literally buy nothing into the next round. Like you you bonus it to to the craziest levels. Dude, this is an insane start. They got all five. They had the best start into every single half so far. How you can just have great starts and that'll just win you everything. Jesus. Oh, this is a good eco from them though. Damage was ridiculous. I love this plan over towards here. It was a nice fight here. Have a person that's going to swing and then open door. I like it, man. I'm, I'm telling you, Loud's like... Loud's plans into the, some of the rounds are great. Like, I'm still thinking of the the big bonus rounds. Like, you really have a rough time. You, you've lost too much space. Um, and now, once you get this first info, it doesn't matter if you have flashes. You don't have to force your way through anything. You can kind of wait it out. Um, 
when you kind of get hold to here, here and here, then you kind of need the flashes. But if you get this map control, obviously you can pivot over towards B faster. So in terms of like loud and understanding the comp, they're wrecking them. And all of the big bonus, all of the big buy rounds right now in terms of the third and this one here, it's all been about controlling A early. It's really good. Bit of a pump fake. He's collected a second one on that. Okay. Gotta try and get a move on though if you are allowed here. Three versus three. Post has made this more than winnable. Nate. Oh, they, one section they're great plans. One, really love this new plant. Well, site. I say Post new plant. I've seen teams do this Third quite up. a bit, but I love that it's just like a consistent thing with them against the wall. Spam, just stop, heavy hold stop, tree. That was really cool. So that rocket will fly straight through. Flying specs. What's up, bro? I'm doing good, bro. How you doing? Good to see you. They should be. There it is. Cosmic device. As soon as they drop down, though, showstopper. Unleashed. Fuse starting to burn down and dwindle. Beautiful seas. Rocket to the side. There's nowhere to run. Not for Chronicle to survive that. And it's tucked just to the side on top of it. Fnatic, got too many angles to watch for here. Really nice oh. post fire positioning. Leo's taking Strong. out. They, they were, they had Man, they're owning them. Leo was it's so good. Their whole the overall plan was just so good, good with play. this, though. Again, every Loud, every important round, we go over towards here. A, we dominate here. Then the then they're out of position. Then the comp struggles. Could be beaten. Also, it's just a low buy, so maybe they don't want to do it on their actual low buy as well. There's that as well. Oh man! If honestly, if the commit was there, yeah, cause they, they had—I mean, they had no idea that they were going to team Omen flash themselves, though. So I'm not too worried about this. But this was a nice call from Fnatic on. Wait, Dark hit that shot. I think Cowensin was low HP, but still, it's a nice shot. Looks like. Munchables, what's up, bro? How we doing? Thank you for the six months, mate. Appreciate you. Dirk needs to <laughs> relax. <laughs> Did I guarantee that shot before was a nice one? Oh my, yeah, he needs to chill a little bit there, but I get it. It's a big two on two here. It's a nice ult, do you want to go in with it? Bless, it's so good. The most perfect gun for it. That's unlucky. Hey, shout out to shout out. Less is ridiculous, by the way. I don't know if he actually heard the guardian or if they knew about the guardian, but the fact he's not like, let me draw it. The fact he's not fully in this corner and he's like over here, so he knows that the spam's gonna come in and then he can just swing is just so smart as well. That's so crazy. I just think that this comp gets so wrecked if you don't hold A control. And maybe they're just scared because of the Odin spam that came in at the beginning and, and obviously... Yeah. Okay, that's kind of nice. I, I think that it's it's more just... Maybe they're in their own head. Oi, man. Aspas with the movement there. That's kind of sick. <laughs> he didn't even turn around as well, bro. He's just focusing so heavy on the movement. That's so funny. It's kind of we're just waiting for them to swing off it as well because it should be a double play. This was kind of nice calling from Loud. Um, this is something that like NRG do a lot on this map. I think I think Foot did it or Giants did it. I can't remember which. Um, where it's just like once you see a lot of pressure over towards here, you just insta hit another site just because the rotates like longer. Never really happens. They're normally very good at winning the pistol first of all, and they normally always win against the bonus. So it's more just shadow. Holy, that's ridiculous, bro. That's a nice little trap play on top of that. That was great. Jeez, bro, chat. We've seen um, we've seen three three Ks with this all. This never happens. It feels like I'm in the beta again with just the the alts doing just 250 to everyone close or anywhere near it. That was really good though with the Astro suck. Oh man, perfect from them in terms of money. Yeah, so I mean, after two rounds, their money just gets out of control. This guy's tanking down. We've got a late nade that goes across. Do we have any spam on the left where he'd be dodging the nade? Yes, we do. Wall got dropped. This was nice, though, but it also felt like this came in, a, in my opinion, this came in a little bit too late, and I don't know if it's because they were, like, overthinking, but they kind of also didn't have too many buy rounds, I guess, in their defense. Wow, that's a shot. It's a straight-up just random swing. Boaster slips away without getting punished by the squeeze from Breakable Door and Main. This attempt to react from Loud has now How the hell is he here? 
Chronicle is worried about stairs. He's actually not watching the one side here. Sadak should be set up for that. Yeah, yeah Chronicle's so asking the same thing. The pit here and make this a very difficult retake for Fnatic. Oh Viper God, you got Viper. Love the lockdown, so. They do pit. You're probably going to see that space being played for now. Boaster and Alfie are playing together. It's important to get the lockdown off. The Loud have a play in mind to try and disrupt this one. That's so nice. Them all the way into to a lot is up to. Out towards the edge. We don't have the nade or anything with this, right? Don't fight over it. Yeah. Out heaven instead. Cosmic oh device is gonna be used man. To block off I'm actually nervous for Fnatic here. Yeah. I think they might have misplayed this a little bit. Getting chipped down and Loba still took it. Don't have to fuse anything to push this away. It's a nade. Everybody's collected close to the corner. Yeah, they, they need to. Uh, they need to fight. Talk, blast, yeah, they need to fight. They did the wrong choice here. Not fallen. Time, time is short. Fnatic Force <laughs> just scurry away, back away. Yeah, wrong call on this. What a round, what a nice, nicely done from Loud. I mean, that's all Sadak. That's all Sadak finding the timing over towards B, getting the kill. All is perfect, and their decision is perfect. And then instead, the Fnatic. I mean, obviously, they don't know that there's three here. You don't know the exact spread of it, but they had to, like, try and crunch into this. I should have looked at the players that were alive. Again, it's hard because the other round actually where I'm, I'm thinking Boaster, I think he was dead. I think it was the other three on Ascent. Maybe where they had time to go for it with the Sova ult, but... Boy, I had no idea he's here. Boaster seeking as well to try and take the fight straight to him. Yeah. Cut to the corner. Yeah. Holy hell. Dude, Sadak's doing really good, by the way, on this map. Oh, Jesus. No triple kill on this? There was a lot of damage on Alpha, but no kill. No kill at all. Still four versus four. Plan. Start going down here. Kawazin. Five pro on this maybe. Oh, that's a nice scene. Oh, that's a good omen. Oh, omen flash with the eye. Damn, loud look legit on this map. They put so much prep into this one. It's really cool. They knew 100% it was this map. Dude, it literally looks like they put like all of their time into this. Really. Finding every gap in the Fnatic setups. You the loud like to anti a lot, oh, and this so is a different good. setup for them. But that is ridiculous. Prowler goes in, spots him. We just insta spam. Cowan's in, gets a kill over towards this as well from Leo dueling. Oh god, they wreck them, bro. They they actually they actually wreck them on this map. This is like not even close. It's they're dismantling them. Are they gonna win this two v four? Still in the back pocket. Both these players now playing boom well, bot. rebounding. All the chances in the world. What a smoke. Yeah, smoke, smoke makes a lot of sense here. as well. Like this smoke, you just cover it up, so and because it's bam, planted, so honestly, not not great, down. but it's, it's planted long, against the wall. It should be a little bit easier. Hey, they handled this really well. This is a great two v four, bro. They're only really winning rounds by like two v four, and that's kind of crazy. They fought for it once, and it was a late fight. This is the fight. This is the fast time. Yeah, they should win this round. Like this is what should have been happening at the beginning. I actually feel like they they approached this map pretty bad. Like it's it's their comp. I've been every single time they play this comp. I literally say what the weakness is, and they don't even do it. Somehow it looked like Loud had a better understanding than the Fnatic on their own comp. Rounds for Fnatic, a prime game in flawless to finish the half. Like that's this should have been happening the whole time. It took them twelve rounds. Like in, in terms of this, right? If if you don't have if you don't have this map control at the beginning, right, you you're always having to force through a choke point that has a smoke because you've got a viper and omen um, and there's normally a util behind it you can never get through these choke points without a flash it's very hard to force unless you're doing like a combo with an, an all in terms of like one of these ultra or like a fade nade tether okay so if you have full free freedom to do this and you can manipulate your, the rotates to come over towards a and you can go fast over towards b and you're faster than these people that have to do this over towards b like you shouldn't like if you have a control for free at the beginning with this comp you've done great and so against this comp i've said it every single time when i watch this teams in terms of the game plan that works against this you go close a main you smoke this off and you try and force them to make an issue the time's going to be low you can get the rotates in the right place and 
fanatic let them have all of this space which in my mind is like criminal like if they they would basically i feel like fanatic would love to play against what they just did on their defense they would love a team to give them this freedom the whole time boaster would just call okay let's get a main and then we can kind of work around the map Okay, in terms of this, though, three oh pi pistols that hasn't helped. Oh, this is um. That's so. This is so funny, bro. This is so funny. I was um. Chat, you see this pistol? I was trying to work out who did this pistol the other day, and then and then loud just went and did it. The the three the three two pinch over towards here. That's so funny. Fnatic were very ready for this though. It's more it's more flexible than this comp, which was which was the whole thing of why I'm just like, how is no one being Fnatic on on this with this comp because no one does this well. The only team that I saw do this kind of well was like Liquid, I think, did it pretty good. It was very mean because I, I honestly I have a lot of friends in Fnatic as well, but you shouldn't be able to have a comp with a fundamental flaw and not get punished for this long. It was actually annoying me, so I'm glad this happened. Watching Leo's back doesn't have to worry about the little door here. You're telling Mini? I mean, Mini will watch it anyway. Back section of the site, sending in the bullets flying. Mini knows that I hate this him. comp. Little fall here, there is a pull onto it, a tap to try and force and bait it out. First layer of that utility. I mean, Lad, Lad has played it better than them. Damn, what a sick retake this was as well. Just as I say it, that was impressive. Like a choke hold on it, but and they're not going to use the omen flash they either, so they're giving them a main control. So maybe they're just going to... That's nice, yeah. With the Astra Suck as well, they're using a lot of Astra Suck to make sure that they get... um To catch people off. With the... Uh... <laughs> Damn, bro. Nah, chat. Les has been so good. He's been so good. They're a very hard retake. Oh. He's fatal really early just because he's like, he, just because he feels a little bit. Oh, man. Yeah. It's because they have no, they have no smoke to block vision. And he's just there and there's no guns they have. He thinks he's just going to get spammed at one point. Right here, right now. Close to the corner, no one's actually putting that pressure on to try and stop this one. Snake bite at his feet. Down the retakes are good, but Fnatic can play these retakes, uh, these after plants a little bit better. Yeah, Leo's just a little bit panicked there. I think he thinks they have a gun that can spam them. You, you're not going to walk through this, right? You have to spam this. Okay, it's not too bad. At least there's a prowler. Okay, that was a nice Maybe you don't have to spam it if you're doing a prowler like this. Damn, he's confident. Oh, the bait in. They had no idea that the wall was down. Hey, that's, that was huge. Yeah, and, and this is the thing. That, that a lot of the time when you hold them over towards A, they kind of like time, they have a lot of time pressure. Dude, you got to plan like right now. Holy. Fnatic. Desperate to stay in this one. Less get to kill, he gets his all. The corner now with a horn back on line. Leon Boaster, Leo seeking to cross around. It's a slight angle. He can just see Sadak. But still towards the back. It's duels that need to be won. Forced out. Spamming. It's so damn precarious. Dropping down. Sadak rips away the hopes and dreams. Damn, even the two on twos. Things well, that they, they, they had to do like a safe right plant because the, the time was low, so they didn't have like the luxury of doing the good plant the where they go over towards here and they can play tree. The time's low, so they're just having to plant wherever they can, and then they're in these awkward positions when they're in the middle of the site and you can just get shot from like three angles. The first map, I'm like loud, kind of snowboard them a little bit. I actually felt like Fnatic were maybe the better team in terms of the first map, in terms of like you take away the pistols, you take away the bonus, like the buy rounds, Fnatic look more in control. This. Lauda absolutely destroying them. I think Fnatic should be happy they got six rounds. Every single time they try and get out with a bit of util, they're throwing another bit of util. 
Prowler, what'd you hit him with? You hit him with an omen flash, okay? Boombot, what'd you hit him with? You hit him with a nade. Like, it's so good. It's so perfect. It, it, it's the perfect counter. This is what I've been waiting for. Ah, oh, man. This is this is so good to watch. How could no other team do this, bro? <laughs> this is what, this is, Chad, this is why I've been losing my mind sometimes. This is why I was so adamant that it can't last forever. And then I just gave up hope that no team was going to do it. Then I even started doubting myself that this comp has a weakness. That's how that's how many games they won. Bro, it's so good right now. This is a hard retake still though. Look at this perfect. Oh, got nothing for this. You have to go fully back. Someone has to commit. Oh man. Okay. Alpha did great on this, though, with the double molly. Oh, these smokes are nice. And against the similar thing, right? It's not like vision block here. Everyone can duel in front of it, and they have to make the play. Oh, my God. This is a masterclass. Bro, they double smoke this and this. Yeah, Fnatic, Fnatic finally go for just, like, a straight up, we got to aggro this, but it, they're putting too much into this. Oh, man, it's the perfect masterclass. Dude, it, it took like what, a whole year, but we finally got there, man. I'm so. Actually, to be honest, half a year just because the way that this is. Man, I'm, I'm actually proud of Loud for this. I'm actually very proud of them. They did so good here. And I, I think what I want to say Frod as well deserves such a such a huge amount of praise because they took a long time to do this. And it looks relatively simple, but honestly, it, will, it had so many layers to it. It was so good to watch. And like they had really dissected every single bit of how Fnatic liked to do it. That was sick. Who's the MVP for this series? Less though. Like like honestly, for sure less.